what we're going to do is we're going to set up our biodome. And this thing all by itself generates oxygen. And it's also a cool building that we can place... Um, uh, we can place our, our, our food processors in here, too. So look at this place, man. This is cool. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we have a lot to do and a lot of cool things to show you. So I've spent uh, probably a good solid hour, hour and a half, maybe even two, uh, off camera, just gathering resources like crazy. Uh, so each one of our chests here, uh, at least for the basic ores, are completely filled up. Um, and then, uh, and including the iridium too. Uranium, I found one more piece of uranium. Oh, and I also found a squash uh, in a blue crate. Uh, when I was out and about, the squash gives 40 food as opposed to 20 from the eggplant. Um, so, yeah, very cool. And um, let's see here. So we got um, uh, some super alloys in here that I found back, back in the biome where all the aluminum is. Uh, also, in that same biome, I picked a bunch of zeolite, pulsar quartzes, and osmium, which we will use in the future. We got a, a chest full of ice here and a chest pretty full of food. Um, uh, this chest has miscellaneous stuff in it. I went back into the cave. Oh, we need to do this uh, microchip too. I went back into the cave and grabbed all those extra pieces because uh, we'll build the recycle. Uh, rec yeah, recycler thingamadoodle and, and recycle those. I thought I had also left some ore in there too, but I uh, apparently I didn't. So I just grabbed these while I was there. Uh, this has pretty much all of our extra oxygen plants and some extra ice there. As you can see, and here, let's take uh, let's take one more of these to get completely topped off. Uh, and both of these chests here are just overflow of extra ores that we're going to, we are definitely going to be using. All right, so let's do this uh, chip first. Uh, oh, actually, no, we got to do that over. Uh, we're going to move our monitors over here. Um, so I'll tell you what, before we, we're going we're gonna to do a lot of building and upgrading in this episode on our base. But before we do that, uh, I want to I want to show you a couple of a few things that I've discovered, you know, whilst being out and about. So I think if we're going to do that, I'm going to temporarily put all this stuff in here. Uh, we need to turn that into water. And there we go. OK, so let's head back over to the other base. We have now passed into the rain stage but so far i've not haven't noticed any difference i mean i think i've had one more you know brief shower and um that's it so so far you know the planet's still behaving just like it did in the clouds stage but maybe as we get further into the rain stage it will uh we'll start to see more rain and maybe even some water accumulation towards the end of it uh, but yeah, we are, um, we just barely passed into the rain stage, uh, as you can see here, not even 1% into it. All right, let's look at our blueprint thing and see what we get here. A GPS satellite. Very good. Okay, so we're going to need to use that um, once we build the rocket launcher uh, to then use the map, uh, which we are definitely planning on doing for sure. Okay, so first thing I want to show you. Um look what's up there i don't know if you can see it very well but look at where my cursor is all the way on top of that cliff is a golden crate i just happened to look up there and I go hmm that looks like a golden crate and it sure is but i have not looted it yet because i wanted to do that on camera with you guys so let's go up there and do that i also found just purely by happen happenstance uh, another golden crate too back over by the stargate um, because I went back over there and grabbed all the ore that we had stashed, you know, from our, our time over there. And once again, I have not looted that yet, so we'll do that on camera. I found a couple of caves that I want to show you that we can uh, access some stuff in. 
And I also found another secret underground bunker that we'll explore together. Uh, okay, so let's grab this first. What a place for a golden chest, huh? And that's what we get. All right, good. So we got another golden... Ooh, look at that. A super alloy rod. Wow, that's fancy. Fancy schmancy. Okay, we'll grab those things. And we'll deconstruct that for some more super alloy. Very, very good. All right. Um, What we're going to do is we're going to drop this stuff off over at our... Actually, we could probably just drop it off in the pod here. Just because I don't want to carry it around with me. Um, You know what? Actually, never mind. I'm going to take this all the way back to the main base because... I want to top my food off one more time before we... Because we're going to be gone for a little while. Um, okay, so... There's no room in there. We'll put the uranium rod in there, the super alloy rod, and the super alloy in there. Let's pull an iridium out of here and put the rod in here. And we'll stick the... Oh, shit. We don't even have room in these. <laughs> um... I guess we'll put that down there along with those aluminums. Um, this we need to go actually put in one of our oxygen things. And maybe even this too. And we have another golden effigy. Right click to build. I, I'm, I guess, I'm guessing that's just a decoration. Microchip compass. Um, Alright, yeah. Let's put you in here. And... Okay, that gets our food completely topped off there. We're good to go. And we're about halfway down on water. So let's make an, a second water just to take with us. Oh, by the way, uh, today is March 26th. And uh, I just uh, saw the trailer for 1.0 of this game uh, on Steam. And it looks really good. Uh, it's supposed to come out in 10, well, on March 10th, so we still have a couple weeks yet before um, it launches. So I don't know how far along I will get in this playthrough uh, by then, um, and I don't know if, if you know, tr uh, saves can be transferred over to 1.0, so we'll just kind of play that one by ear, but uh, really excited to see that. It's going to be cool. All right, so, um, what was that thing? Oh, yeah. Let's go back over here and just stick these higher level flowers in our veggie tubes all of that stuff or most of that stuff anyway and I'm gonna move over to the main base uh, the veggie tube tier 3 cannot be placed inside so once that becomes available we're gonna have to place those outside um, but we're also I'm also gonna make the biodome and uh, we we learned the the water collector. In fact, let's look at that real quick. So yeah, we got the biodome here. I think you you guys already know that we learned the nuclear reactor, but if not, uh, we're going to be making one or three of those. Uh, this flower pot thing unlocked for me while I was out and about doing stuff. Um, so I think I, I don't know if that's functional or decorational, but this real this thing unlocked. So the atmospheric water collector uh, collects water from humid ambient air. That's amazing, because now we'll, we'll have an actual water supply and we won't have to rely on ice. So, yeah, we got that stuff done. Okay, so what I want to do is... Let's replace you with a golden seed and you with a Nolna seed. And we'll just store you guys in there for now. Cool. Okay, so now um, let's head this way. Uh, we're going to stop off at a couple of caves, and I'm going to show you where that other golden crate is. Um, let's do the golden crate first, because it's furthest out, and then we'll work our way back. Oh, and also the underground bunker, too. I did a lot of looting in this zone. Um, you know, mostly gathering the higher level stuff. The quartz crystals, the osmiums the aluminum and those those other white crystal thingamadoodles uh, but I certainly didn't clean the whole thing out so there's there's still more of that stuff in here like yeah there's a quartz crystal right there but we'll leave that stuff there for now uh, one of the things that I want to get going as soon as possible 
is the uh, the ore extractors because it's just it's so much work to gather all this stuff by hand. Okay, so this cave has on the floor sulfur. Okay, so that's a new ore. Um, it also has osmium and iridium too. Uh, but yeah, so this is the first time um, we've encountered sulfur in this playthrough. And there's a few pieces lying around here. We're going to leave the osmium and the iridium alone for now. Just looking to see if there's anything else that might be hidden from view. Oh, look at that. All right, cool. So we'll grab those and those. And when we heat the planet up enough, this ice wall here will melt and then we'll be able to go behind it and get whatever goodies are behind there. Uh, but we're, it start, says it starts melting at five point something Kelvin. Uh, I don't know what that, what, what that uh, measurement marker actually stands for, uh, but the K I believe is Kelvin. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a while yet. Oh, here we go. One more. Cool. So we got a, a decent supply there of sulfur. I'm going to take this back and put it in the shed over here. Uh, just because we're going to have, uh, we're going to need more room to bring more stuff back. That was close. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's just store these in here. And we're gonna need to drink one of our waters. All right, let's continue on here. Okay, we're moving up through the, uh, the A rock formation area. And if we take a hard left, there's a camp down here with uranium in it. And I just, you know, I just was over here bringing stuff back and forth, and I took a peek inside, and it's like, hey, that's uranium. Um, did I look at this? Here, let's actually eat that right now. I think I'm going to leave the rest of that in there. But yeah, look at this. Uranium cave. And it's kind of funny, too, because my first thought when I saw this is, man, if I go in there, am I going to take damage? Uh, but I was thinking of Satisfactory, because in Satisfactory, you can find caves with uranium in it, too. Uh, but they, but you actually take radioactive damage if you go in there, radiation damage. Uh, but apparently that is not an issue for us here in Planet Crafter. So, yeah, there is a decent amount of uh, uranium in here, as you can see. And we'll use this to the this among other things to make our our uh, tier one nuclear power plants. It's a lot of it too, man. It's really good. Uh, yeah, and obviously we have a chest here uh, with more uranium. These that stuff I'm going to leave there for now. We don't need it right now. Uh, okay. All right. Um, let's go over. No, that's the way out. I think we've probably got it all. It's pretty hard to miss. It's very brightly gl glowing uh, stuff, right? Okay, yeah, I think that's probably it. Um... Wow, look at that. Almost a full thing of a doodle of it. That is just amazing. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have to take this O2 canister. So let's run this back to our shed uh, that's just back this way. And then we'll come back and investigate, uh, get the other golden chest and investigate the underground bunker that I found. We're going to have to make another chest because we have more uranium that can fit in one single small chest. Nice problem to have. Yeah, look at that. Full chest there and then that stuff. Plus we have two pieces back at the base too. Really nice. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to tell you guys too. Um, when we were over by the Stargate... 
Uh, oh, that was a weird change. We actually were near the starter area. We're not going to go all the way over to the starter area, but I'll show it to you for those of you who may not know where it is. Uh, I know, you know, at least a couple of you guys watching this game this that the game's new to you. Um, and yeah, so so we were actually were very close to the starter area, and had I known that at the time, I might have actually just gone there, but um, we don't need to now. But basically, yeah, let's go look at that first. Then we'll grab the golden chest. Then we'll go down to the uh, uh, to the hidden bunker. So let's just take a quick peek at that area. So that was the uh, the stargate that we that we looted. And if you just go to the west. This is the original starting area. Well, a little further beyond this. So this kind of funky looking biome in front of us, um, a lot of people call that the aluminum biome because there's a lot of aluminum down there. Um, and then beyond that, uh, in, in that valley there, there's a big valley that's on the other side of that mountain. That's the actual starter area. Uh, there's a wreck right there we can kind of barely see it there's another wreck up there and one on the other side of you know those little cliff areas uh so oh and that cave directly ahead of us has a lot of aluminum and iridium in it as well so we'll be coming over here at some point you know for resource gathering purposes uh but yeah we were we were actually a lot closer to it than i had originally you know originally realized And I've already emptied everything out in all of these guys. Okay, so let's uh, let me show you where that golden chest is. It was just a complete fluke that I found it. Because <laughs> I, I was flying back to that shed we were just at, you know, to get another load of stuff. And I flew over here. And I, I was just kind of going by, you know, really fast, and I noticed there's a little hole in there. So I turned around and looked, and look what's down there. Frickin' golden chest, man. Can you believe that? All right, what do we get? A gold, Another golden effigy, another golden seed, an iridium rod. All right, I'm going to, well, here, let's take all of it and deconstruct that for the super alloy. But... Uh, if we need room, you know, I, I, I might ditch the Lerma seeds because that's like the last thing we need right now. Okay. Now, let's go over to our shed, replen our oxygen, and then I'm going to show you something else cool that I found. There's that big ship way the hell over there. We will investigate that at some point fairly soon. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Put that back. Put that back. Um, in fact, let's actually stick that stuff in there. Uh, the rest of this we want to keep. Okay, so right down here is a hidden bunker. I was I was just up on that cliff kind of looking down here and I noticed it. Alright, let's see what's in down here. I didn't do do anything with anything down here. I, I took a quick peek at it, but I didn't actually do anything. Uh, okay, so we got a chest here. Oh, look at that stuff. My goodness. What's this? A Tusca seed. That's new. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to be a little selective about what we take. Well, can we take it all? We can, but I think... Let's definitely put those back. Uh... Let's take the water right now. Uh, we don't need eggplant seed. And uh, the thing is, is can we can we deconstruct this? We can't. Oh, man. Okay, so I don't even know what this thing is. I was kind of hoping we could deconstruct some of this stuff, but it's not going to let me do it. I mean, I could do the locker, but... Okay, but that locker, that was some good stuff. All right, we also have a message. Let's read it. It's been six months since the crash, and I'm barely surviving. My main goal is to build a rocket and leave this place forever. This planet is cursed. I can feel it. 
I'll have to go back to the crash site. I think there was a secret room in the control bay, a deconstructible wall somewhere near the main screens, but it's been a while. I can hardly remember. Now, if that isn't a clue, I don't know what is. The question is, what wreck are they talking about? The there was a secret room in the control bay, a deconstructible wall somewhere near the main screens. The control bay of where, though? Hmm. He could be talking about the, the Stargate, since that's the closest structure to where we are. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, since that's all there is to loot in there, we might as well take those items and... Well, I guess we can take the eggplants seed and... Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. So I think that's it for down here. It's a bummer we can't deconstruct that stuff, but it is what it is. Okay. Uh, we're going to need to take this and therefore... Yeah, um, I'm going to need two cobalts to make another tank, so let's put one of these back. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is get myself, my uranium, and my sulfur back to the new base. Kind of get all that situated. And then what we will do is we will uh, start doing some upgrades to our base. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, um, I'm heading back for another load, but I wanted to stop at the old base for a second because uh, we got this new microchip to see what we get. Oh, all right, nice. We got a better uh, flashlight. And look at that, we need sulfur. How about that? That was timely. Okay, and then uh, I also want to swap out the Tusca seed and the golden seed for... Uh, you will put the Tusca seed in there and we'll put the other golden seed in this one. Let me get that oxygen cranking, man. And we'll put these in here. I'm going to make myself another uh, water because we're going to need one fairly soon. Okay, I'm going to go get the rest of the uranium and then grab all the sulfur and then I'll meet you guys back here. Let's get started uh, with uh, with the base snare here now. Um, lots of things to do. Um, I think the first thing we'll do is that we'll get started with um, building the upper area of the base. So I want to grab uh, all of that stuff. Let's just grab that too. And then we need um, a bunch of, a, a decent amount of titanium and a whole mess of iron and a few cobalts as well. Uh, let's put the aluminums in there. Aluminum, 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 and grab a bunch more iron. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to build our upper section of this base, and then that's going to become our command center and our living quarters. Um, all right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll, we're just going to put that there. We're going to build another one here, and we're going to build a door right there. We're going to make this into a cross, like so. Oh, we're out of iron. Let's grab the rest of this iron here and maybe even some of this iron out of here. Um, actually, we're going to need a little more magnesium too. Or I'm sorry, not magnesium, titanium. Did I grab all that out of here? Oh, yeah, we got a bunch more in here. Okay. Go back up here. Okay, and then we're going to put the... Uh, whoops. We're going to put the uh, corner pieces in here. Uh, oh, wait, wait a minute. What? Hold on. Yeah, we got everything we need for that. Sometimes uh, the building can do weird shit here. There we go. Okay. And so basically, this is going to be a, a you know a smaller kind of circular. 
uh, upper story of the building here. There we go. All right. Okay, now let's run back to our old... Look at the view from here, too. Once that waterfall starts flowing, this is just going to be amazing. Absolutely love it. Uh, anyway, let's run back to the old base, and I want to grab all of our screens. Oh, actually, before we do that, though, we're going to build... Uh, where is it? We're going to build a couple desks so we can put the screens on the desks. So we need... Iron for that. And we're going to put the, all that stuff up against this wall here. Okay, so let's pop this desk in here and pull it out. Uh, so there, I guess. Good. All right. Yeah, let's go run over and uh, grab uh, our, our displays, our monitors. All right. We will put the progress screen up here. Uh, make sure it's pointing in the right direction. And right about there looks pretty good we'll put the terraformation screen uh, next to it over on this side right about there it's pretty good um, and we're also 5.89 percent on the way to liquid water um, we'll put the blueprint screen here <coughs> we'll put the power screen here and let's build the transmission screen and also the mapping screen. Uh, that way we, we have them, we'll just have them all, they're done. Uh, at least until we need to do another screen. Uh, so, okay, so what do we need for those? We need iron, silicon, and magnesium. Uh, no, iron, two silicons, and magnesium. Iron, silicon, and a microchip. We did make that other microchip that we've been sitting on. All right, so this can be the uh, communication screen here. And this can be the mapping screen. We won't actually be able to use the mapping screen, though, until we get a satellite up into space. Uh, but at least we got the screen. This we could actually start using as soon as we put down our communications array uh, which we might actually try and put on top of this building uh, what, do we, what does it take to make that silicon titanium iron and aluminum silicon titanium iron and aluminum okay let's go out here and see if we can jump up here grab this guy and we want to put put it right in the center or as close as possible anyway so that's that's pretty damn close for eyeballing it there we go all right so now what's going to start happening is we're going to start receiving transmissions um you know as time goes on uh, since we have the communications array and it's going to start op start opening up some more storyline stuff to us now let's click on uh the message board and we have a new message from Sentinel Corp. Uh, this is an automated message to convict GP 8971-L. You have chosen to commute your sentence into an extradition. In order to be released of all the charges pending against you, which we don't know what the charges are, I don't know if you ever find out, uh, you must fully terraform this planet. Our sensors will periodically scan, it, uh, scan your progress and, you, and will send you the required blueprints. Do not try to contact Sentinel Corp in any case. If our sensors do not detect any advancement on the terraformation process, you will be considered missing and the charges will not be dropped. You cannot claim property or value over anything on the planet. You're only allowed to use the resources found on the planet to increase the terraformation index, and you are not allowed to leave the planet until the terraformation is complete. 
year 3058. Okay, so yeah, the deal is that we are apparently a convict, <laughs> and um, we did something. We don't know what it is. Maybe we'll find out later. I'm not sure. If you guys know that we do find out later, certainly do not tell me, please. No spoilers. Um, we'll let that come naturally as we play the game. And so I guess the, you know, the deal is we terraform this planet. See, we just got a new message. We terraform this planet, and uh, the charges are dropped. At least that's what they're saying, so we'll see. Okay, we got a new message. Um, this is from somebody named Riley. Hello, I finally managed to locate the system they sent you to. I don't have much time, but I'll try to give you some advice. The success rate of Planet Crafters is so low because it's nearly an impossible task. You should find space food in your pod and maybe in space wrecks. You'll be able to grow food by yourself when you meet the correct requirements. So try and find some vegetable seeds. Exploration and improvements are essential. Explore and improve your equipment to increase your chances of survival. I hope this message will reach you. Okay, so I've got a problem with this message, and that is that we should be receiving this message at the very beginning of the game. <laughs> we already know all this stuff. So it's just kind of funny, you know, that the that the devs decided not, you know, uh, to have this show up now. I mean, this is something we should have seen at the very beginning. Maybe not from somebody named Riley, but, you know, some other way to share that information with us. Um, you know, but it is what it is. Now, all of these messages... Uh, are the messages that we've received out in the wild. And we've already read all of these. Okay, so uh, this one, for example, from this Eklos guy, is the one we just read earlier in this episode down in that bunker. Uh, so, But it's cool because now we have them all in one place and we can refer back to them if we want to. You'll notice, too, that some of these have different years. Like this one was 3,038, this one's 3,043, and so on. So, yeah, there's a timeline going on there. And maybe by the end of this series, we'll be able to more or less piece the story together and, you know, kind of figure out what happened there. Okay. We're also going to be building, uh, you know, making a living space for ourselves up here. So we'll probably put a bed down and some couches and tables and chairs. But that's not something I'm going to do today. Uh, we got higher priorities um, to, to deal with. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to get some nuclear power going. Um, actually, no. Before we do that, let's get this water thing built. Um, because it'll start collecting water for us automatically. All right, so let's see. We need an iron, uh, a silicon, iron, silicon, a mag, a cobalt, aluminum, and a super alloy. Oops. Okay. Um, and let's put this out in front, right by the door. Oh, that thing's sizable. Okay, let's put it right there. All right, cool. So we'll come back to this later, and it'll start filling this up with water. Um, and I think it happens pretty quickly, too. I did get far enough in my first playthrough of this game to make this thing. So we no longer have to rely upon finding ice to make water, and that's a beautiful thing. Speaking of which, however, I'm running around without a water bottle, which is against the frickin' rules. So let's make a new water bottle and not break the rules. It might keep us alive. Um, also, let's get some chow. Um, we have one squash in here. Let's eat that, and then we'll top off with an eggplant. Beautiful. And also, how many spaces do I got in here? Five. Okay, let's harvest these so we can continue growing more. I guess I must have picked... Wait, did I? Yeah. I must have picked that one earlier. Cool. Okay, so we got that done. Uh, let's see. Next thing we want to do is... is, 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 is Let's make the the tier two torch. So right now we just have this um, this little light here. I'm assuming the tier two torch will give us a wider, you know, coverage on the light. Uh, so we need aluminum, a mag, and a sulfur. I put the sulfur in with the other rare ores. Aluminum and a magnesium. Okay, and it automatically updates. Okay, now let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that's better. Covers a little bit more area. And 
it seems to me too like it's maybe a little bit more of a floodlight and not so much of a spotlight too. So definitely going to help us see better when we're in those dark places. All right, next thing on the list is let's make the nuclear reactor. Okay, so we're going to need super alloys. One, two, three. Let's see if we can make two of these because I think we're going to probably need them for what I have planned next. Okay, so that gives us six super alloys. Um, we need a uranium rod and we need to make another rod. So we need nine of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm so glad we found that uranium cave. Okay. Um, and then we just need a total of four water bottles to make two of these. Um, any chance you have water in you already? Oh, you got one. Look at that. Damn straight, man. Okay. We're not going to wait for that thing, though. So let's, <coughs> let's make three more water bottles because, again, we need to keep one in our inventory. Okay, so we should have everything we need to make two tier one nuclear reactors. Yeah, much better light. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those, I'm going to put the nuclear reactors over in this area. So this is going to be our power area. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and... Um, Maybe we'll start right about here-ish. We'll be putting several of these down, and then, of course, bigger ones later. Uh, all right, so that is... Yeah, that should be on the cardinal direction. Get that thing there. Okay, right about here. And then we'll do the second one. Get that lined up nice and neat, but pull it back this way a bit. Look at that nuclear power, baby. And each one of these suckers puts out 86.5 kilowatts of power. Um, compared to the 19.5 kilowatts that the, sol the T2 solar panels of the previous tier was doing. Yeah, so that should give us a huge amount of power. I'm loving it. All right, now the next thing I want to do is I want to make some bigger drills because if we look at this uh, it's pressure that's going to unlock the ore extractor and I really really want to get that um, so we're going to build ourselves let's see if we can make four T3 drills okay so um, oh, yeah, I've got to go back downstairs um, right okay so we're going to need eight iron. No. Four. T uh, yeah, four times two is eight. Eight titanium and eight aluminum. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight iron. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight titanium. And... Uh, aluminum right here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we can only hold five. So we'll have to come back to get the rest. Do we have more water? Look at that. Let's take a drink. I love it. We could probably, that's one of those is probably all we'll ever need. Um, here, we, uh, well, I guess we can't pick that shit up because I want to, I want to put the drills over here. Uh, okay, so let's start, let's put the first drill, uh, I want, actually, I think I want to hold these back because of what we're going to do next. Maybe we'll start them right here. And I think, excuse me, I think I'd like to turn them this way.
That thing is just so badass looking. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's put a second one down and then we'll pick these ores up. Um. Oh. Okay, hold on. We might not be able to because the ores are in the way. Okay, pick that up. That, that, that. This way, <clears throat> uh, make sure it's nice and lined up with this guy and pull it back this way. There we go. And we need to go get the rest of the aluminum. So let's do that. Do I have room? Yeah, let's pick these up as well. Um... Let's throw... Do we have room in the magnesium? Okay. We'll put the mags in there. I don't... We don't need the cobalts right at the moment either. Cobalt, I know. That's... It's not cobalt. It's cobalt. Oh, and we needed... Uh, I think we just needed one more aluminum, right? Oh, whoa. Wait a second. We wanted to make... Wait, we want to make four of these, right? Yeah. So we need four more aluminum. Four iron, four... Yeah, we should have enough to make it now. You know what? Let's actually come a little bit closer. All right, so get that lined up there. Pull it back this way to about there. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll put the fourth one over on this side. And of course, these are going to be generating pressure for us. Hey, there we go. All right. We already got the ore extractor. That is freaking amazing. That's next up on the list. Whoops. Uh, okay. Right about there. These things are so cool looking. I love it. All right. Ore extractors, baby. My plan for those is to yep okay so our first use of osmium um i want to put one of these in the aluminum zone because my understanding it says extracts ores from the ground depending on where it's placed so i think what will happen is if we put them put one over in the aluminum zone it'll get aluminum and maybe even, you know, some of the other higher level ores over there. And then we're, we're going to put probably multiples of these over here, you know, just so it gets the ores around here, you know, like the iron and the basic stuff. Okay, let's check our power, though, because those drills probably... Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> we still have 158 kilowatts. We got tons of power. How much power do these require? Um, only 40. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're in, we're in, we're in good shape on power. Two nuclear power plants are gonna let, gonna sustain us for, well, I mean for as long as they sustain us, right? <laughs> uh, as we keep building these this high level shit, though, it's gonna it's gonna change. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and we needed two iridium rods, so let's grab those. We need a total of four osmium, uh, four. OG. There you go. Learn how to count. Um, we need two super alloys. Do, 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 do. That's all we got left. We can make more, though. Um, and then we're going to need two aluminums, two titaniums. Two aluminum, two titanium. Uh, whoop. And we have one titanium there. Do I have... Yeah, let's put the the silicon in there and grab another titanium. I don't think we need iron at all, right? For these. Nope. You know what we do need, though, is we're going to need... We're going to need to make a large bin to store the ore in. Maybe even two. So yeah, let's grab that. 
Okay, let's top our food off, and then we're going to run over to the aluminum biome. Um, that stuff's not quite ready. That one is. And let's have one more. Let's also... Oh, actually, yeah, here. I just want to see... Okay, so that's now at 9.3%, and the pressure's rising pretty quickly. Uh, we oh yeah we gotta we gotta do something about heat here too, uh, so maybe that'll be our next thing. So for the first ore extractor, I mean I don't see any reason why we can't just put it near the base. Um, I don't want to put it down there because that's gonna fill up with water. So why don't we just put it right here and we'll see we'll see how it does. Okay, we're gonna turn it this way. Oh it's, oh, it's got its own case. Look at that thing, man. Uh, this also does, uh, by itself, generate some heat and pressure. Like plus 12 NPAs of pressure. And 14 P Kelvins of heat. Nice. Okay. So yeah, we'll just leave that there, and you know, my, my expectation is that it's just going to get the basic stuff. And um, let's move, let's run over, to, uh, let's get water. Let's run over to the aluminum biome. I know that's not what it's actually called. Uh, hopefully, you know, oh man, that was already almost full. That's awesome. Hopefully when we um, can unlock the map, uh, we'll actually learn what all these regions are called. some aluminum right there I don't know if the drill or the ore extractor rather will also pull uh, you know like the higher end ores but if it did that'd be amazing and what would be even cooler is if we took one of these and put it like in the uranium cave and another one in that sulfur cave if we grab that stuff that'd be cool I think though that there's that there are rockets that you can make that will, um, uh, you know, that you can shoot up in, in, into orbit and they can mine uranium and or uh, iridium for you. But I'm I'm not really sure about that. We'll have to just see how that how that goes. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put this extraction station next to this one. Um, there we go. And I'm going to, uh, let's put a big storage chest up in here. I don't remember how quickly these fill up. Um... So I, I don't, I, you know, obviously it's not instantaneous. I think it takes a little while. And of course, the more of them that we do put up, the more that we can collect. But I'm just going to start with these two for now because there's a couple other things. Yeah, we're we, we're kind of going long on this episode, but yeah, um, I want to do two more things. Well, I want to do about 200 more things, but <laughs> uh, we'll do two more things before I let you guys go in this episode. So let's get back to the main base here. We've made pretty good progress already, though. Let's see if this has gotten anything yet. Oh, it has. Look at that already. Okay, that's pretty damn fast, actually, all things said and done. So I imagine, again, if you... We have the luxury of just drinking water whenever the hell we want to now. It's awesome. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, I mean, I mean, imagine you put enough of those things up and you'll never have to pick up ore again as long as you live kind of idea. Uh, all right, so what we're going to do is I want to set up... Well, we need to set some heaters up. We're, we've kind of neglected heat. Uh, so I think that's what we should do next. And uh, the Tier 3 heaters that we can do, uh, those still have to be indoors. So one thing we could do... I mean, we got lots of room in here... Uh, we got a new message. We could do like a, 
a, a just a big massive row of heaters along here or we could can we make the the tier th oh we can make the tier three veggie tube yeah we need to do i mean like i said there's a million things that need to happen but i think i think we'll set up some heaters but what i was thinking is maybe we could put the heaters in the old base and that could be like the heater house because we don't really need that base for anything and i'm gonna pull um well i'm gonna pull the the really high end plants out of those veggie tubes and put them into tier threes, but we're not going to do that in this episode. We're just not, we're running out of time. Um, so, all right. Yeah. Let me think here. Uh, so iridium rods, silicon, titanium, aluminum. Okay. So let's put, let's make six of these guys. Yeah. Let's make six of these guys. Um, Put a couple of these things away. Um, I'm gonna put you guys in here for now. And you can go in here. All right, let's look at this again. Uh, so we need silicon and titanium and aluminum. I'm going to put the iron back in here. So we need six aluminum. Six silicon. And six titanium. Okay. What I'm going to do here is cuz we're not breaking the rules, we got to keep those two bottles in there. We'll build four and then I'll come back and and grab the stuff for the other two. Yeah. Okay. Um but we'll take the titanium over there too. All right, let's go run over there. I mean, you know, from a practical point of view, and of course we can't really apply practical real life to this game. <laughs> in, in no way, shape, or form can we do that. But who gives a shit, man? This game is fun. It's all just it's all just for funsies. Can't take it serious. Um, but anyway, what I what I was saying though, I mean, if we put those ginormous heaters inside our base, that would they'd cook us, right? Especially since they're designed to heat up a whole freaking planet, right? So yeah. Um, what I think we'll do is we'll we'll set them up over on this side, and eventually we may fill this entire shack with heaters, um, or you know we wait until we get to the tier four heater, and then I think those we can put outside. I'm not sure though. Okay, so let's grab the first one, and we're just gonna slop it down in the corner there. I do want to make sure though that it's far enough out. Well, actually, no. You know what? It doesn't need to be. I'll just put it as far that way as it'll go. Pull it back this way, and... There we go. Okay. And then we'll put this next one next to it. Uh, maybe even hold it this way a little bit. And then this one can go here. And this one can go here. Oh, and that tanked our power. My goodness. Okay. Um, I hope that we have. Wait, what? No, I don't want to deconstruct the living compartment. There we go. Let's put uh, this stuff in here for the moment. I hope that we have. Um, let's take these back to the main base. Enough stuff to make a third nuclear power plant. Enough uranium. So let's go back and check. Yes, we do. Nice. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What else did we need for that? Uh, oh shit, super alloy. That's uh, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to make those, which we can do. So just, we basically need one e each of the basic ores. So we need three each for this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. There we go. All right. Grab that. And the other thing we need is just an extra water. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Look at that, it's already full. Let's take a drink and grab an extra water. All right, we'll add our third, oh, it's starting to rain, nice. Uh, we'll add our third nuclear power plant. Nuclear reactor, I should say. And pull it out to about there. Okay. Now we should be able to put the last two, uh, or yeah, the last two heaters down. So we needed one more iridium rod. And I think I already had everything else <clears throat> over there. Silicon, titanium, and aluminum. Um, I'll take them over anyway, just to make sure. We've got quite the rain going on out here, man. Still haven't seen any water accumulation yet, though. It'll happen. It'll fill the, you know, the depressed areas first. All right. Let's put this heater here. And I think we'll put this one in this corner. You know what, though? Something just occurred. Oh, shit. I need another rod. Something just occurred to me. Um, this uses 21 kilowatts of power. What if this building gets buried under the water? Hmm. Well, I, I guess if that does happen, maybe the heaters will keep working. If they don't, then we just come in and pick them up and take them to higher ground. I, I hope that doesn't... I hope we can do it that way, you know? Uh, all right. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, here's the deal. Um, I'm going to go... Well, hold on a second. Do we have enough power and material to do the last thing I wanted to do? And that was put the biodome in. That uses 44 energy. Oh, and it requires three more super alloy. Ooh, damn, that's expensive. Okay. Uh, we said that the heaters used 21 power, right? Got another message. So if we activate the second heater and then try and do the biodome it's not going to work why don't we hold off on the second heater and do the biodome uh, and then we got to wrap up this episode okay so uh, let's see what are we going to need for this well the first thing we're going to need is, is more super alloy one two three we already have three of those silicon uh, let's pull that out of here let's pull the extra aluminum and the extra magnesium out of here and we need cobalt okay okay that's good uh, I'm gonna stick 
these in here for the moment. We do need a Lerma seed though. Uh, also to make this. Okay, so now uh, we need two titaniums, two cobalts, and an aluminum. There's two cobalts, an aluminum, and two titaniums. Okay, let's... Okay, hold on. we got to do something else, too. We need to build two more thingies. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two. Right. Think, think, think. Yeah, okay. We have room in here? All right, let's go out here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take those things out of the way. And then we're going to pop one of those up there. We're going to pop one of those up there. Uh, we'll put this back here and this back here. Okay. Uh, I'll put some foundations under here too, uh, but I'll do that later. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set up our biodome. And this thing all by itself generates oxygen. And it's also a cool building that we can place... Um, uh, we can place our, our our food processors in here too. So look at this place, man. This is cool. And we have an extra interface, which we're gonna look at in a second. But yeah, this this just generates O2 all by itself, and it's got another area here that we can you know exit out of or you know attach another building onto it. But what I want to do is we we have we're gonna have more structures that we can build. So we'll we'll build something you know coming off of this side, and then. You know, when we're ready for the third extra building, we'll just pull this door and the stair out of the way and we'll just keep building kind of like a central um, corridor down and, and keep branching off to each side with the new building. So that's kind of the, that's my plan there. And like I said, I'll, I'll put um, the iron foundations under these. I'll do that off camera. Uh, but let's look at this. So what this does is it now opens up the biomass tech tree, which is a whole new banana from you know the normal one so this is the normal one that we've already you know been able to look at from our uh you know from our blueprint screen up upstairs so this is the same exact thing we can see it here but if we click on the biomass you know then we got a whole new bunch of tech so things like the bio lab for example um that we'll use to you know to, to craft well it says bio recipes but that would include things like fertilizer and things for you know better higher grade farming uh, an algae generator, uh, a tier five heater, an aquarium later on. We got a butterfly dome here, and we can we can actually start, <clears throat> um, you know, creating plants and and even animals in the game now too. Uh, outdoor farm, mutagens, beehives, fish farms, all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm so excited and stoked to see this. Oh, and this, look at this, high quality food, restores a lot of health. Look at that. That'll be nice too. Uh, for us to to do and trees we'll be able to plant trees and it's just i'm so excited for all this, the cool stuff that's coming up all right you guys that is going to be it for this episode uh so what i'm going to do off camera is um I, i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna get the uh the foundations under the new parts of the building and you know just start gathering ore from our extractors let's see how this guy's doing that is so cool, man. It's already almost full. Let's just grab it right now. Um, and then in the next episode, um, we will, what we'll do is we'll work on moving our food processors. Uh, or sorry, not our, well, actually, yeah, I, I would like to take the food processors here and move them into here because we can set them up all along in here. And this can kind of be like our, uh, you know, like our kitchen or our galley, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, for that. And then um, we're going to set up some tier three veggie tubes that we can set the golden flowers in so we can keep cranking out the oxygen. I do want to get some more heaters going, but, um, you know, before we, we can do that, we're going to need, you know, to come up with some more uranium. We need a total of nine of these to make a rod. 
And, um, yeah, so we'll just keep working on the terraforming index and keep having fun in this game. There's a lot more exploration, too, in store for us that we'll do. And, yeah, so with that being said, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.